Okay, simultaneous equations, uh, higher GCSE level. Um, some of these are going to be grade B questions, and then they're going to go right up to the A star, um, linear and quadratic ones. So I have to go quite fast to cover all these quickly. So um, let's start. So we've got a formula for a turkey and a goose. A turkey and a goose have the same mass and the same cut time. So these these two things will be the same. So if the time is the same, then we can say 15 plus 20m equals 40 plus 15m. Now quite often you can, if you play around with the numbers, get the answer very quickly just by guessing, but uh, much better to actually work it out. What I've done there is I've uh, taken the 15m from both sides to get 5m, then I've taken away the 15 to get 5m equals 25, so m equals 5 minutes. Uh, sorry, 5 kilograms, not minutes. So if it's 5 kilograms, if we put it into either of those two formulas, the time is going to be, um, I'm going to use the top one, 15 plus 20 times 5. 25 is 100, so that's 115. Just check it works in the other one. Uh, 15 times 5 is 75. 40 plus 75 is also 115, so that's fine. So the time is going to be 115 minutes. Uh, standard simultaneous equation question. You know it's simultaneous equations because it's written in that sort of form. Um, two different ways you can go here. You can either times the bottom equation by 5 to make the x is the same and take away. And actually, let's do both. Oh, this is the only time I'm going to do both. And then I'll just uh, stick to 1. Okay, first one I'm going to times the bottom one by 5 to get 5x plus 10y equals 5 times 9 is 45. And then I'm going to subtract them. Now, what I'm going to do here, which you can do, is I'm going to move this one underneath this one to make it easier for me to subtract. To give me positive numbers. And ignore that. So 5x to the 5x is nothing. 10y take away minus 4y is 14y. And 45 take away 24 is 21. So 14y equals 21. So y equals 21 over 14. And that should be 1.5. Once we have that, then we can put that value into the equation. So I'm going to just pick the the, the bottom equation x plus two lots of one and a half equals nine that's three so what plus six plus three is nine so x is six that's very poorly written let's just change that so x equals nine take away three which is six so the answer would be x is 6, y equals 1.5. Um, the other way you could do it is to double the second equation and add them. So we've got 5x minus 4y equals 24. Double the second equation gives me 2x plus 4y equals 18. This time, because the signs are different on the y's, if I add them, I get 7x. The y's are going to disappear because they're going to cancel. That's going to give me 30, 42. So x must be 6. It's possibly the easy way around. And then using that, 6 plus uh, 2y equals 9. So 2y equals 3. So y equals 1.5. Either way is fine. That is a great B question. OK, here's another one. I'm just going to stick to use, making the x's the same. So I'm going to times this throughout by 2, times this by 2 times that by 2, and times by that 2. The most common mistake with these, once you've got the, the basic method down, is either in the negatives, when you're subtracting things, um, I'll show you what would happen there if this went wrong, or forgetting to multiply through by the same number on everything. So each term, each thing separated out by a plus or a minus or an equals must be multiplied. So I subtract those, so the x's go, I've got 3y minus minus 10y. Now the very common mistake there is just to do 3, take away 10 and get minus 7. But because it's minus minus, that's plus, which is 13y. And 5 take away 18 is going to be minus 13. 
Now you can usually spot that. That's wrong uh, when you do that because that would be seven y equals uh, sorry minus seven y equals minus thirteen. Thirteen over seven is not a nice answer for a non-calculated question, but this is much better. Uh, y equals minus one. And then we put the numbers back in. I'm going to put it back in the top equation. Four x plus three lots of minus one equals five. So four lots of x uh, plus three lots of minus one is minus three equals five. So four x equals eight, which implies x equals two. And here we go. And another one. This time I am going to actually use the y because there's if I do this, I could times this by 3, I could times this equation by 3, and this one by 4. That would make the x's the same. But if I just times the second equation by 3, then it makes the y's the same. So slightly quicker to do that and less complicated. So the second equation times by 3 is 9x minus 3y equals 30. And I'm going to add them because that will get rid of the y's to give me. 13x, those disappear, equals 39. Telltale sign is the answer, it's a nice number, not always the case, especially if it's calculator. Um, so x equals 3, if x equals 3, so we've got 3x, that's 9, minus y equals 10. So 9 take away 1 is 10, well that has to be minus 1. So x equals 3 y equals minus 1. Notice this, do not use trial and improvements. If you're guessing these, you cannot get the marks here. You must show your work and anything else will not be accepted. Okay, one with the, one with the um, graph on it. We could draw a graph first, draw the graph of 2x minus 5. You could draw a table from minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and work out the y values for that. So I would always start with the positive numbers. Two fives are ten, take away five is five, two fours are eight, take away five is three, and so on. Or you can use your knowledge of graphs to know it crosses at minus five, and then it's got a gradient of two, so every one across, or one across on the scale, it goes up two. So it goes to there, and it'll go up to here, and then it'll go up to here, and then it'll go up to here. So we're interested in this area here. Um, use the graphs to find the solutions to this. So y equals y x plus y equals five is the one that's drawn. This is the one I've just drawn. Um, time to bring in the ruler. If I can find it. There it is. Now this is not the easiest thing to use. Okay, so where's where's those two the same? Well, it's at this point here where they cross, which is roughly there, which is 3.4 on the x scale, and here, which is going to be sort of 1.5. You could solve it algebraically, but it says does say to use the graph. Okay, now we're stepping up. I'm going to do um, an AA star question where we have to substitute a value into a quadratic. This is the equation of a circle, in fact. So I'm going to, instead of having the y, I'm going to use x minus 7, where the y was, and I'm going to square that. That's going to be equal to 29. Now, I could use a method in the space I've got, which is not a great deal in here because I chopped it all up, to work out this bit. Um, but as I know how to do these pretty quick without it. Okay, we get that. x squared, so this, this bit here is this expanded. So we've got 2x squared 
minus 14x plus 49 equals 29. If I take away the 29 from both sides, I get 2x squared minus 14x plus 20 equals 0. And that is just double that. So if I halve this equation, so I'm going to divide by 2, I get x squared minus 7x plus 10 equals 0. OK, and then I've got to solve it. So I'm going to solve this quadratic. So I need to put it into a double bracket. And I need to get find some numbers that multiply to give me 10. Um, but add to give me a negative number. So they've got to be both negatives. So what's going to add to give minus 7? Well, that's going to be minus 2 and minus 5. Minus 2 times minus 5 is 10. Minus 2 plus minus 5 is minus 7. So there's my two answers. So x equals 2 or x equals 5. Now for each of those two answers, there's a corresponding y because y equals x minus 7. So 2 take away 7 is minus 5. And 5 take away 7 is minus 2. OK, another one here, this time no sort of lead in, just got to put the numbers in. y equals x minus 3, so I'm going to replace this y squared with x minus 3 or squared. Um, that's because y is x minus 3. I'm just replacing that y in there with x minus 3 and squaring it. Squaring it, I get x squared minus 3 times x is minus 3x and another one makes minus 6x and minus 3 times minus 3 is 9 so I've got x squared, take away the 2x is 8x take away the 29 is minus 20 so I've got a quadratic which I can then factorise hopefully into double brackets ok 20 same as Similar to the last one, so I've got 1 and oh no, that was 10 actually, 2 and 10, 4 and 5. So I want two things. They're both, one's going to be negative, the bigger one's negative. And when I add them, I get at minus 8, so that's going to be the middle pair, so plus 2 and minus 10. Um, that's going to give me x equals minus 2, x equals 10. And then the corresponding y values because y is x minus 3, minus 2 take away 3 is minus 5, and 10 take away 3 is 7. 5 marks. And another one. Um, so just replace that into here. So x plus 2 equals 3x squared. Bring it all to one side, so I'm going to take those over to here. So I've got 0 equals 3x squared minus x minus 2 um, normally have this on the left hand side it doesn't make any difference the 0 could be either side um, so can I factorise this let's give it a try so um, I need to multiply to give me minus 2 so there's only one way of doing that so that's or I could have I could have minus 2 and 1 or 2 and minus 1 now I've got to try these different ways. So if I put the minus 2 here and the 1 there, so I've got 1 and minus 6, that's too big. So if I have the 2 here, so that's 2x, and minus 1, that's minus 3x, that's going to work. So 2 and minus 1, because that's going to times by that, and that's going to times by that. It's going to be minus 3x, and two, plus 2x is minus x. So that works nicely. So this is going to be equal to 0, so 3 x plus 2 equals 0 or x minus 1 equals 0 so x equals 1 there because 1 take 1 is 0 this is going to be 3x equals minus 2 so x equals minus 2 over 3 and when x equals minus 2 over 3 y is going to be x plus 2 so can we add 2 to that added on to that. Um, you could get your calculator out for this but it's going to be 1 and a third and when x equals 1, 2 onto that is 3. Ok, 
Okay, nearly there, two more to go. We're told that, solve these simultaneous equations. Um, how's this going to help? I don't know, it probably help when I do this. So, um, y equals that, so I've got x plus 1, which is y, all squared, equals 4x squared minus x plus 7. So we're told that equals that, so that helps us multiply that out without getting it wrong. Get it all onto one side. 9x squared, take away 4x squared is 5x squared. 6x minus minus x is 7x. 1 minus 7 is minus 6. Oh gosh, this looks tricky. Although that can only be 5 and x. Things we can do to make 6 is 1 and 6, 2 and 3, and one of those is going to be negative. We're going to have a difference of 7, so 3 fives of 15, so we 2, no, that's no good. Um, 6 and 5, no. 2 is 10 and 3, that will work. So we want uh, minus 3 and plus 2, because because that and that, so that gives us 10, take away 3 is 7. So we have x or 5x minus 3 equals 0 or x equals minus 2. For this one 5x equals 3, so x equals 3 fifths. Um, so y going to be 3 lots of x plus 1, 3 lots of that is 9 fifths plus 1, 9 fifths is 1 and 4 fifths, so 2 and 4 fifths. So if I'm doing this right, not make any errors. Um, x equals minus 2, two lots of mi 3 lots of minus 2 is minus 6, plus 1 is minus 5. So there's one solution, and there's the other one. One more question, we're oh, hitting around the 20 minute mark. So this time they're both equal to y, so I can just go straight into 5x minus 1 equals 2x squared plus 1, because they're both equal to the same thing. Get it all on one side, so I've got 2x squared, take away the 5x, add the 1, makes 2, and that's what I got a 0. Again, factorise. So I've got 2x, x, it's got to be 2 and 1, it's got to be both negative because it's minus in the middle and this is a plus. That's a relatively easy one, 2 times 2 is 4, take away 1 is 5. So 2x minus 1, so x is going to be equal to a half, because 2 times a half is 1, take away 1 is 0, and or x is equal to 2, so y equals five lots of x which is two and a half take away one which is one and a half or y equals five lots of two is ten take away one is nine so just putting it into that equation there that's the easier of the two done